What's going on everybody? It's Rocco with Rocco's Modern Survival. I'm back again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about chicken trackers, how to build them, um, or what kind to build, or if I should build one, basically. There's a lot of uh, things there to talk about. Uh, I just built one two feet tall by four feet long, all right? And I love it. It's, it's a freaking tank, but it's still movable 100%. That's the best part about it. Uh, all I did was I went and got, and I did all this for free. This was 100% free. These were some old posts I got out of a garden. Um, so these were free. It was eight foot long. So I did it all. I did one piece, two foot, uh, in two foot length pieces. So eight foot, two, four, six, eight, four pieces is all I needed. And that did all four corners. So then I took the pallets that I, I scavenge up all the time and then I cut them off and then I used them for the sides. Yes, I had to kind of jerry rig this part right here because I did not have, I didn't want to have to cut a whole nother pallet, just like a whole nother piece, just because I had to go cut a whole nother pallet just for this right here. So I was like, you know what? I got a couple pieces that'll work right here. So I just put them together. It's okay. It was free. It was awesome. I, I used air nails for the entire thing. Uh, she is super sturdy. Um, they were broad nails, oh, I think. I've got the box here somewhere. Um, I put chicken wire over half of it so they have a sunny area. And then whenever that closes down, they'll have their um, enclosed area that they can get in out of the rain and stuff like that with the, when they need to. They've got a perch back there. So the perch is four feet uh, long as well. Everything is exactly two by four. It's it's that it's just, it's just that two feet tall, four feet long, every, in every which way possible. Uh, this entire thing was free for me. I just cut up the pallets that I scavenge up, used the air nails that I have at my house, and that's it. So let me show you what this thing looks like when it's down. So that is it. Whenever the lid is uh, down on it. It is a simple, stupid, simple freaking thing to build. It took me three hours to build it. Um, would have taken me longer if I would have had to use screws because, you know, you got to drill pallet hole, then you got to uh, drill the screw in and stuff like that. It's just a bunch of, it's, a, it's, a, it's too long of a process. Uh, so, only thing that cost me was the wire, and I bought the wire last year, so really the wire didn't cost much either. Uh, I used, what? A dollar's worth of wire on it, maybe to be two dollars worth of wire on it. So yeah, I got two dollars worth of wire in this, plus the nails I already had in my house, and everything else was completely free. I found it at uh, dumpster sites. So for that, not a bad freaking deal. This thing cost me two dollars to build. So I'm pretty happy with it. Remember, two feet tall, four feet long. All I did was set this down on a uh, my my saw horses over there, and um, Put them together with the bottom pieces down here i, I uh, air nailed these in and then did the same thing to the side over there and then did the same thing to the other side uh just nailed them just nailed them together then i put them on the ground leveled them up and uh went to town on it so it was really simple I just did one side at a time that way everything was nice and even and then trying to figure out well i need to uh I, I didn't have enough eight foot pieces so that's whenever i had to start getting uh creative with it and it worked so that's all that matters and the best thing is my chickens can come out of that stupid thing and they can go into this thing i'm only going to do about i think three out of there into here and then i'm going to build more as time goes on i got to scavenge up a few more pieces I've got enough uh, pallets. I just want to scavenge up a couple more pieces of stuff so it doesn't cost me anything to build these. And then I want to uh, just keep these guys on grass as much as possible. So I've got three in that one right there, and I've got eight in that one. And I'm going to actually convert that into a pig pen here very shortly. And we're going to have pigs here, hopefully, before too much longer. So we're going to go and get the electric fence here shortly. Not today, but I mean, within the next month, hopefully I'll have an electric fence running the property. So I'm hoping that works. I got to get a few more peach trees for down there. I got one right there where that 
fence is falling over. So I got to put, I'm going to put a pallet fence around my peach tree so the deer will stay out of them this year because the deer just tore it up last year. So I'm going to put two more, I think one more peach tree down there with that one. That way I can have two peach trees, run a pallet fence around that. And then down there where the garden's at, or the old garden, I think I'm going to run that for the pigs. If I don't put the pigs there, I'm going to put the pigs in the backyard in the back backfield. But I also want to put a pond down there. So it's kind of like, I don't know what I want to do yet. We still got to move this dirt to right here and cover the rest of this up for the pipe and everything. And the front of the house has got to get covered up. We finally built some steps. I'm super happy for that. Um, we're working on it. It's getting there. It's just taken a long freaking process. Three and a half years. Uh, that's the problem with, with completely remodeling a house. It, and if you only have one to two people working on it, me and my dad. So he's either helping someone else all the time or I'm always at work. And it's been one giant cluster after another. So we've got one room completely done and that's the bathroom and my room is almost completely done it needs literally two days worth of work and it would be completely done but we just can't seem to get down here to do two days worth of work actually really one day's worth of work and it'd be done the floor is already down it just needs to trim so other than that it's good to go but that's it for today guys i just wanted to show you this awesome tracker i just built um and um and is what is literally what that was because <laughs> I, I conditioned from the front to the side right here. I also wanted to say thank you so much for letting me hit 500 subs. We've got another 500 to go, and we've got 1,000 subscribers, and I'm super happy. It's taken like three or four years to get here, but it's been a very awesome uh, journey with you guys. We've learned a lot together. We've done a lot together. We've got another video coming out this week, maybe tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be mealworms versus superworms and the pros and cons of raising both of those because I've been wanting to get back into millworms again. So I was like, okay, I'm doing super worms or am I doing millworms? Which one should I do? I'm gonna make the video today on that and I'll post it tomorrow. And then you guys can see the pros and cons on everything, okay? We're gonna break down everything that you all will need to know about them. And then that way you won't have to do a lot of research on it. You can just kind of get all the information right there. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless. I'm going to go throw these chickens in this tracker, and I got some errands I got to run. So, y'all have a wonderful day. God bless. Let's hit that like, subscribe, notification bell. Let's get to 1,000 subs. I am so happy with you guys. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless.